I'm Mohammad Babaruddin Ahmed Siddiqui. I'm software engineer by profession. However, I have several non-Muslim friends in my community. They usually told me that you people are hypocrites as you are living in this interest-based economic system uh, and each currency even is affected by this interest. Uh, how do I reply to him that uh, we are not uh, involved in this? Even I have a current account in my bank. Brother said that one of the non-Muslims is saying you Muslims are hypocrites, you are dealing in interest, etc. How can he convince? Brother, there are Muslims who own bank, but tell him that the major banks, it's owned by the Jews. And all the banks have got security, finally it goes to the federal bank. You know, federal bank in U.S. And federal bank in U.S. is not owned by the U.S. government. Many people think that the federal bank is owned by the government of U.S. No. It is owned by seven individual families. And all of them are Jews. J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, all of them. So your friend doesn't know the banking system. He doesn't know that how it is controlled by the Jews. So the full world interest-based banking is controlled by the Jews. But I do know that there are some Muslims who own banks, interest-based banks, which is wrong. It's haram. Tell him that the Quran says about riba in no less than eight different places. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 278 and 279, if you do not abstain from involving in riba, in interest, take notice of a war from Allah and his Rasul. If you deal in interest, whether take interest or give interest, the Quran says, Allah and his Rasul will wage a war against you. Interest is one of the major sins in Islam. If you have alcohol, it's a major sin, but Allah and his Rasul will not wage a war against you. When someone has alcohol, you say, oh, alcohol, very bad Muslim. Someone take interest, no problem, society is there. Taking interest and giving interest is the bigger sin than drinking alcohol, according to the Quran. So, we should abstain from interest. That's the reason Quran is against riba. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhirud dawan alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.